new NAI voice agent, free template. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create an AI voice agent that calls your leads automatically. Here's an example right here. This is using N8N and it's an amazing workflow, absolutely beautiful. And if we click on the outbound dial section, we can just run a test call. So let's test this out right here. We're gonna click on test step, that's gonna execute it. As you can see, phone call type, and then you can see the phone call coming through here. Let's answer that. No worries at all, take your time. I'm here whenever you're ready. If you need a moment to get settled, that's absolutely fine. Just let me know when you're ready to continue. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking how about you. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat today. I just wanted to quickly confirm that you're still good for your scheduled call with Julian Goldie. Is that time still convenient for you? And yeah. is this the best number to reach you on for the call? Also, before we jump in, I'd love to learn a bit more about you and your business. What's the main SEO or link building challenge you're hoping to solve right now? Yes, yeah, so right now what we want to do is scale our business with SEO, get more organic traffic. That's fantastic scaling with SEO and boosting organic traffic is definitely something we can help with. Just to make sure we tailor the call to your needs, could you share a bit more about your current situation? For example, what's your main goal for the next three, six months when it comes to SEO or organic growth? Are you the main decision maker for SEO investments or is there anyone else involved in the process? And out of curiosity, what would make this upcoming call a big win for you? Is there a specific result or outcome you're hoping for? No rush, take your time. And if there is anything you'd like- All right, so we're gonna end that call right there, but you get an example of exactly what we've done, how we've done it. So the way that we've done this, creating this AI agent that can basically call your sales appointments and reconfirm them is really simple and easy. What you can see here is we have an NAN automation. If you wanna get this template, you'll need to join the AI Profit Boardroom link in the comments and description, and then go to the N8N outbound calls agent, you'll find the template that you can just import straight into N8N right there. But essentially, what we're doing here is we're taking appointments, for example, you see this calendar is linked to new appointments that come in. Then from here, we have an AI agent that basically responds and figures out what to say, and that sends the information over to a tool that can make outbound calls. Absolutely amazing. And you can sync this to a sales calendar, or it could be to appointments, or it could be whatever you want, lead generation. You have to be careful, of course, because if you're making calls with AI, you want to make sure that it's all compliant. I'm not a legal expert. This is not legal advice. You can figure that stuff out and research it, do your own research, but you get the point. This is how powerful it is and how it works. So for example, the way that this works is it's taking appointments. I'm going to just set this up in a new tab as a new automation, just to show you how easy it is. If we go inside, N8N, you're then gonna to go to create workflow. And then inside N8N from here, what you're gonna do is add a first step. Now, I would recommend that you have this running on a schedule. So it could be like 9 a.m. each day. We're going to run this automatically based on my new appointments from the day before. Just reconfirm everyone, make sure everyone's gonna join the appointment. Then from here, what we can do is we're going to add a new section called calendar. And we're gonna select inside here, get many events. Now with get many events, basically, you just want to connect your Google Calendar. Like you can see, you just sign in. It's pretty simple, allow access to N8N. And then from here, you can actually get access to your emails. So for example, this random email address that I've used for the process. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna take appointments from this email address. So here's an example calendar with appointments. So you can see we've got an N8N party happening tomorrow within the next 24 hours. It's going to take that information and send it over to the AI agent. Now, the way that you can do this is you're going to have the settings as Google Calendar, account resource, and then you can click on return all. So just select return all, toggle that on, and then from here, we can just select anything after right now, but before 24 hours time. All right, so we'll plug that in. And basically what that's going to do is take all the appointments within the next 24 hours. So from here, we can just test that step. And basically what that's doing is taking all the information from the appointment and sending it over here. So you can see this is all the information about the appointment, when it's gonna start, when it's gonna end. So just to recap here, we've scheduled a trigger to run every 24 hours, and then we've set up Google Calendar to grab all the latest events. From here, what we're gonna do now is set up an AI agent. So you can see we've got the outbound AI agent. The way that we set this up, we just click on this and we need to link this to a model. Now you could use Open Router for free, something like that. I'm just gonna use OpenAI because it's easier. So I've got this connected if you don't know how to connect this, 
you just edit the credentials and plug in your API key from OpenAI, and then you're good to go. All right, so we've got schedule the trigger, Google Calendar, AI agent, that's got the information right there. And then you just need to program this AI agent to be able to run your instructions. So here's an example, it's got the source for the prompt. We're going to select define below, and then we're going to plug in a prompt as you can see right here. So pasted that in. Now, if we open this up, what you can see is we are taking in the information from the event, the date, the time, and the description of the event. And also you wanna add some new instructions here. So for example, wait, be patient, might take a while to connect, whatever. And you just give some information to the agent. Now, I think honestly, this could be improved, but I just wanna give you an example of how it works. And then if you wanna drag in the date and the time or select random stuff from the account, you can just, for example, drag and drop this information that's been taken previously. So what this is doing is taking the JSON information from the Google Calendar event and then telling the AI exactly what our appointment's about so that it can figure that stuff out. Now also, we've got a system message. So what we're gonna do is click on require specific output format. Uh, we're gonna add a system message like you can see. So let's add that in, plug that in. If you're wondering what the system message is, basically, as you can see, your Julian Goldie AI, the world's best appointment setter. Call the lead has already booked in a call from Julian Goldie's calendar. Confirm that they can attend the scheduled time. Now, one thing I'd actually change if it was me doing this again, then I would highly recommend that you actually change this. So essentially, it only asks like one question at a time because if you don't do that, the AI agent might talk too much. It might ask too many questions. It can get messy. I wouldn't recommend that. So you can see, it's got the output, the notes, all the information about the appointment. So we've configured that, set up the specific output format. We're good to go on that. Now, what we also need to do is set up a structured output parser. The way that you do that inside your workflow is you would go over here and then you're gonna select output parser, structured output parser, and then you just take the information from your appointment. Now you can rewrite this inside ChatGPT and ask it to rewrite something unique based on the specific details that you take but this is just what I'm using for the JSON. It's pretty easy to set up and simple to do. And by the way, all the instructions with the importable template are inside the AI Profit Boardroom. You'll need to join to get access to the agent prompt example here. You've got the instructions for the system message, the structure output example as well. So you can just copy and paste this stuff from me if you wanna steal it and then customize it to you, your business, your API keys. So we've plugged that in now, and basically what this is doing is you can see it's taking the event name, the date, the time zone, about contact. So we're good to go on that. Now we're just gonna test this, make sure it actually works. Let's click test step and make sure it works. If there's any errors, we can fix it. And let's just double check this on the structured output. We just need to change this to define below, all right? So make sure you've selected in your structured output parser define below. So now we're just gonna retest the AI agent it's good for you to see stuff like this, to know how to fix it. Now it works. Perfect, beautiful. You can see the inputs, the outputs. Live in the dream, my friend. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a HTTP request for the outbound dial. So we're gonna click on plus over here. There we go. And then we're gonna select the method as post because this is going out. So if we look at this example of what's already working, you're gonna select post then you're gonna use this URL. And at this point you might be wondering, okay, what is Retail AI? Let me show you an example. So Retail AI is basically a way of automating your call operations with Voice AI. Really powerful tool, pretty cool, easy to set up. And let me show you exactly how to use it. So you got an example right here. And what you wanna do is just create an agent. So you go to create an agent, single prompt agent, that's all you need. Now inside that single prompt agent, here are the settings that I used. So I pasted in the same prompt from the system message on N8 end, which you'll need to join the AI profit boardroom to get if you wanna steal it from me. And then, so this is the system message. And then inside here, we've got a welcome message. So you wanna click on AI initiates. AI begins with dynamic begin message, like you can see over here. What I would also recommend is that you set up a knowledge base for the agent as well. So it's got, for example, details of you, your company, and then you can also choose between what language you want. So you can do this in multiple languages. It can even be multilingual. As you can see, if you get appointments in Spanish, French, whatever language you see all the languages, then you can have this as a multilingual agent. I've selected Jason, but there's a bunch of different voices that you can use as AI agents here. Uh, so, you know, female, male, 
different voices, some of them very flamboyant, I'll be honest with you, but you get the point. And then from here, you've got different APIs that you can use. Now, some of them are more expensive than others. So for example, you see here, Gemini 2.0 flash is like 0 0.006 per minute, super cheap. Whereas you got GPT-4 mini real time, which is like 0 0.125 per minute. So that's gonna get pretty expensive. So it's up to you what you use. I was using GPT-4 for my example. We've got JSON right there. English, boom, we're ready to go on that. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is inside Retail AI is you're going to go down to API keys and just make sure you have an API key, like you can see right here. And then additionally, we just need to go to phone numbers. Now you can buy a phone number for free. You actually get $10 when you sign up and it costs $2 for a phone number. So I just bought a phone number, like you can see set up, and we selected outbound call agent as a single prompt agent we set up before. You can see that right there. So that's the outbound call agent. This is the ID for the phone number, and we're good to go on that. Right now, you've plugged in your URL inside the HTTP request. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to select generic as the authentication credential type. And then from here, we're going to select custom. And by the way, if you're wondering like, am I the genius that figured all this stuff out? No, I learned from an amazing YouTube account called AI Workshop. Would recommend checking out, that's where I learned this stuff from. It does a lot of awesome tutorials on NAN, but it's pretty easy to figure out and pick up, even if you're not technical, like I'm not technical at all. So from here, what we're gonna do is click on send body, and then we're gonna select using JSON, and then we're gonna use this process right here, which I'll explain in a second. So. What you can see if we pull this up as an example is we basically have the from phone number. So that's a phone number that is inside Retail AI. So if you're wondering how to get that, you go to Retail AI, make sure you've bought the phone number that we talked about before, go to phone numbers, and then grab this phone number and put it inside the quote marks. As you can see for the to number, that would be the contact phone number from the appointment. So you can see that's the contact phone number from the appointment. We've put that inside the to number section then for the retail AI dynamic variables, we've got the event name and we've also got the phone number. And the final thing that you need to customize as well is also the agent details. So this is the override agent ID. Now, if you wanna get that, all you do is you go back to your agent, as you can see right here, then you're gonna click on single prompt agent. And from here, you would just copy this code in the top right. That's gonna give you a copy and pasteable agent ID that you paste inside the quote marks over here. So you just do that, boom, and then if you wanna run the phone call, you just click on test step and it's really easy and simple to set up. So basically you get a bunch of ideas of what you can create, how to create it. Just make sure you set up send body JSON using JSON, plug that information right there. If you wanna get the JSON from me, you'll need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. I've put the HTTPS request example inside the instructions right there. I will delete my API key after this but that's basically how you can do it. Simple and easy. I would also recommend maybe you wanna run this through whatever you want. And also here inside the knowledge base, you can click on add new knowledge base and just plug in the information. So for example, let's wait for that. You can see here, I've uploaded my sales process for the appointment selling agent who can just go off and figure stuff out. Really simple and easy. You can add knowledge. And if you have a process on how to do outbound calls like we do for our setters, then you can put that inside the knowledge base plus some information about you. And that just helps make the agent way better. So you, for example, add web pages, upload files, add text. So we could go in here, we could type in like julian.com and then you can see actually this is really interesting. So it actually takes all the pages from julian.com and which ones do you want to include inside the agent knowledge base? So we can just take the home page, hit save or the about me page, type in the details and we can auto sync that. So if you make any changes to your website, you can auto sync that every day. Click on Julian Goldie website, for example, hit save. And now that knowledge is gonna be updated to the AI agent. So when it makes outbound calls, it's gonna be way smarter because it has more context. It's not just a generic AI agent. You can also, for example, even take a transcript of your best outbound calls, upload that to the agent, and then this can do it as well. So it's absolutely amazing what you can do. Easy to set up a phone number. The only thing with the phone number is like you can't make outbound calls until this is fully verified, which literally takes one minute, but you have to open up your phone app, take a picture of your ID, plug in your face, and then it's all verified. And then you can start doing calls. So you'll see a little button in the top right that says verify your call. And then you've got the phone number, you've got the agent, you've got the knowledge base, 
all set up inside this bad boy. And then you got the API key over here. Just going to plug that into NAN like you can see, and then you can easily make outbound calls automated. As you could even set up a trigger where it's right, as soon as this webhook comes in, and that webhook is an appointment from your calendar, then as soon as that comes through, then you make the outbound dial. So it's like speed to lead is super fast and you can just call people as soon as they've booked in the appointment. So let's test that out again. We'll take the appointment. Here's the full workflow again. If you want to get this template, you'll need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. Just go to this section here. It's called NAN Outbound Calls Agent, like you can see. And then if we go inside NAN, we'll run a test here. So we'll click on this. Just make sure as well, if you want to test this out, that you're testing each stage of the process. So you have to test this, then that, then this, then that. And each stage of the process has to work because it relays the information onto the next module. So for example, if we click on this one, then we're going to click on test step. And there's always a little bit of a delay before the outbound call comes in. Obviously, it's not like directly instant. There we go. Call from? Of course. After the... Hello? No worries at all. Take your time. I'm here whenever you're ready. Just let me know when you're available to chat about your upcoming appointment with Julian Goldie. Hello there. Hi there. Thanks so much for picking up. This is Julian Goldie's team. I'm just calling to confirm your upcoming appointment with us. Can I quickly check are you still available for the scheduled time? And is this the best number to reach you on for the call? Boom, right? That's how easy it is. Ready to go. You can customize the agent a lot more. You can make the prompts much better and smoother, but that was just a little demo to give you a little taster of how it works. If you want the workflow, you'll need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments description. I've given you the demo, shown you how easy it is to link to your Google Calendar. You could also have that as a webhook from your CRM as well. To be honest, I would recommend the CRM method because the faster you get to those appointments, the more likely they are to confirm and be impressed by your amazing workflows. And you can see the knowledge base example. You'll need to join the AI Profit Boardroom to get all the links. And yeah, that's basically it. Now, if you also want other automations on like a scraper agent, a social media post automator. NAN is absolutely amazing. And you can get all of these templates inside the AI Profit Boardroom. You'll need to join to get access to all the templates and workflows. Julian Goldie reads every comment. So make sure you comment below and let me know what you think about this AI voice agent setup. Now, if you want to get this template, if you need support, if you need help, if you want people to actually answer your questions, then you need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. This is a community focused on making more money and saving time with AI. Currently have 1000 members and this is where you will get access to all the templates I've shown you today. Additionally, inside the AI Profit Boardroom, you can get weekly calls so you can jump on live calls with us, ask any questions you have, get help and support, get all the coaching that you need. Also, you can DM us with any questions you have. And additionally, you can post inside the community here like you can see everyone is doing and then get help and questions and advice on whatever you need. And that's the best way to do this. I think if you need help, if you need support, if you want to save hours of messing around, this is the best place to go. So feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom link in the comments in the description. Also, if you want to book a free SEO strategy session with my team, there's a link in the comments and description. We'll help you scale your business with SEO and get more organic traffic. And remember, you can get all the video notes, the SOP, the process, and over 100 use cases inside the AI Money Lab. Link in the comments and description. You see how I show a checklist of 100 different tutorials that are given away as freebies every day inside the community feed? You can get all of that plus all the other trainings. And with 20,000 members, you don't want to miss out on being part of something bigger than yourself. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.